All right, this is one we don't see every day. Who wants this one? Case five. All right, I'll take it. So, I mean, the first thing that stands out is um, that blue infiltrate, which is probably a big collection of lymphocytes. Yeah. Um, you can see towards the, the top, it actually has uh, a little squamous epithelial lining. Um, so it probably represents a, a true cyst. And then in the middle of what we're focusing on there, it looks like they're starting to form a little um, follicular unit, uh, which would make you think in this context of uh, branchial cleft cyst. Yeah, great. This is this is a good example, I think, of branchial cleft cyst. They're lined by stratified squamous epithelium. They tend to have a really dense lymphocytic infiltrate around them, sometimes with germinal center or, or lymphoid follicle formation like we're seeing here. And um, and the, the key, I mean, they do have a, a pretty distinct appearance, but the real key is recognizing where it is on the body. They're usually like below the angle of the jaw, like in the upper part of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, that region right there where, where the branchial clefts would have been embryologically. So, and uh, I'm certainly no embryology expert. It's a lot more complicated than I can remember. But that's an example of a branchial cleft cyst and something that I only rarely have seen in practice, actually. Maybe they all go to like pediatric pathologists or something, but they um, do not come across my scope very often. So stratified squamous, dense lymphoid infiltrate, below the angle of the jaw, branchial cleft cyst.